Howdy, uh, my name is K.O. Pyro. I uh, wanted to do a demo of Naomi in regards to auto splitting for any percent. Um, the reason I wanted to do this demo is I noticed there's some confusion with a new live split image recognition auto splitting. And I wanted to kind of give what I've learned over the past year of using Naomi to do these auto splits uh, where good splitting locations are in to be a little bit more comprehensive with this video, just even how Naomi works for this. Um, so to begin, uh, the first split I use in any percent no amiibo is um, stasis, arriving at the stasis shrine. Um, that in order to calculate, you know, the travel time it takes for the different strats that we use. Um, so the thing I decide to split on for arriving at stasis is actually a letter in the shrine's name. As you can see, uh, the letter is classified as a positive versus a negative. This is to create uh, two clusters that incoming images would use to then decide whether this incoming image belongs in the negative classification or the positive classification. Then if that image is classified positive, that's not the end. Uh, I have a manually configurable confidence threshold to determine how closely that image has classified or is similar to other images. Uh, this is very useful in reducing false positive reads uh, so that there aren't any problems for, you know, random stuff that show on, on the screen. Um, I also am able to configure what program has focus when these are active. Uh, so right now I have it configured so that live split has to have focus on the computer. Otherwise Naomi doesn't even run this image recognition test. Uh, so the S has been very useful, very confident. And all of, all of my splits, except for the very last one that I will talk about, uh, works approximately 90% of the time. If you don't believe me, go watch any of my PBs that I've ever submitted to uh, speedrun.com. Uh, Naomi has been extremely useful in auto splitting for me, and I hope that it will be useful for you when you're using live split. So that's traveling to stasis. Um, I don't believe anybody in the auto splits for Breath of the Wild any percent is actually going to use traveling. Uh, that's fine. I'm going to go over them just for the sake of going over them. Uh, so after you get to split stasis, the next split is stasis itself. Uh, everyone's already figured this out, but the best place to split is on the spirit orb. Uh, very reliable, um, very useful, not really an issue there. Uh, I personally, with each shrine, I, I split on the spirit orb, um, but I re-image each shrine in case there's some background pixels that are different that might actually cause um, the confidence to be different or lower. Uh, so that way the spirit orb is successful regardless of what shrine it's in, in terms of plateau. All right, after stasis, we move on to cryonis. So uh, as you might guess, my two cryonis split splits on a letter within the name. It is a unique location. It doesn't move too much as it's uh, showing up. Uh, so very useful to split on, very easy, and very reliable. Uh, Cryonis split splits on the spirit orb. Not any different really than stasis. After Cryonis, we go to Magnesis. Same thing as before, splitting on a letter within the name. These letters are for the German version of the name, so I personally have to always run in German text or redo my auto splits. Uh, that's also something to consider when doing when doing auto splits on text is that whatever language you set, uh, that's the language you have to stick with, or you have to redo these auto splits. Uh, then after Magnesis, or after the two Magnesis traveling to Magnesis, we do the Magnesis Shrine. They are uh, Spirit Orb, obviously, very easy to tell 
very reliable. Lots of frames where the spirit orb is showing up despite the fact that you're mashing. Um, so an easy split. And you might notice that I've got these numbered. These are numbered actually in the auto switch of Old Plateau before we had Towerless. Uh, so that's why the numbering doesn't match with the order. Not a big deal. Uh, so after Magnesis, we travel to Bombs. Splitting on a letter at Bombs. This one, Bombs was surprisingly hard to split on, despite the fact that the F pretty much stands out. Uh, there was a lot of background pixels that could be different. Uh, so what I did while capturing this image, and I don't know if live split works this way or not, but I moved the camera around quite a lot while capturing the images so that there would be a variety of different background pixels that it could use to compare against and figure out that what I'm really splitting on is, is the F itself. Uh, so if you have trouble splitting on something, that's text, you might consider moving the camera while saving the images, unless Live Split only takes one image, at which props to them for having a reliable image recognition without actually having classifications or clustering, I guess I should say, significant clusterings behind that. All right, and then Bombs, just as easy, uses the Spirit Orb. Not a big deal, easy to find. Uh, after bombs, we go to paraglider, which is simply the paraglider image. Not hard to figure out. Uh, I cropped it a little closer to the paraglider itself so that there wouldn't there would be less pixels to compare it to, which increases the speed at which Naomi can compare the pixels. And it also removes any extraneous information. For example, time of day, can significantly affect how accurate some of these things are. Um, so if you remove background, you don't have to worry about the time of day background pixels affecting the image recognition. Uh, also gets a nice uh, orange that I classified here. Didn't Doesn't seem to be an issue. I guess I classified the orange when it starts turning a little bit more red. You can see the design here. Um, but like I said, these splits are pretty much 90% reliable for me. So I hope that this information becomes useful to you. Now, the problem that I've noticed in the Discord actually isn't with Plateau. The problem seems to be with finding good places to split when you get to Hyrule Castle. Um, so here is where I split. For Hyrule Field, There's actually you can actually determine that you've made it to Hyrule Castle in game when the normal compass changes to the dungeon map. When that happens, the location of your thermometer indicator also changes location. Uh, so what I do is I split on the new thermometer location. Very, very obvious, very easy for an image recognition algorithm to identify. The difference between the compass and the thermometer, easily known, easily told, I would highly advise it. Uh, one of the things you'll notice is that if you're going in a slower path to Hyrule Field and you have to, for example, slab launch into Hyrule Castle, this change will happen in midair after the slab launch. However, if you successfully do a Temple of Time BTB, um, it actually won't change to the dungeon map until after the Hyrule Castle cutscene. Uh, so that's something to make note. I don't think it's uh, significant enough of information for me to want to change anything so that I get some sort of indication earlier. I think this is a really good thing to split on for indicating that you've actually entered Hyrule Castle. Uh, moving on, what many people call Enter Sanctum, the finish of Hyrule Castle, what I end up doing is I split on the Sanctum's text, as usual in German. This is the H. Or sanctum it does not move location pretty much at all when it appears uh, it's fairly distinctive as you have the dark two circles in the middle and then the white outside um, I had to increase the confidence threshold on this one a little bit because the 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 massive amount of white caused me to have some false positives with a lower confidence threshold 
Uh, so something to cons consider or think about. Uh, this tends to split about a second before you enter the cutscene trigger, which is good for me because you're done with Hyrule Castle, you're going into the cutscene, not a big deal. The Blight split was quite tricky for me um, because it is very, very difficult to find a visual cue that indicates that you have defeated Thunder Blight that does not also exist with Fire Blight, Water Blight, or Wind Blight. Uh, so that being said, I decided rather than splitting on any visual cues it indicates the blight has been defeated because those will just be replicated and you'll get a false positive. I chose to split when you've started the Calamity fight, which is on Calamity's name itself. Um, this has served me well. Uh, the blight split happening at Calamity pretty much guarantees that you're done with blights. Uh, if it bugs you that you want your blight split to be, oh, I've defeated blights, rather than and there's a big time gap, you can simply rename your splits to the start of Calamity again. You know, Calamity again and fight start or whatever. Um, doesn't bother me at all to have it delayed split just a little bit. Um, this is a very reliable split, uh, and I probably will never change that. All right, this next split is the one I talked about at the beginning. It has lower confidence. I'm actually probably going to change it, and the only reason I haven't changed it yet is because just getting to this part, which is the end of Calamity, just beating Calamity in an any percent scenario takes a lot of time to do and to redo, and quite frankly, I'm lazy. Uh, so doing that just to get an auto-split image isn't really something that I want to do. Uh, so I've left it here. Uh, the success rate of this is about 60%. I would use this as an example of what not to do. Um, if you have doubts, don't, don't use this because it is not as reliable as it looks like it might be. I split on the indicator. This loading indicator in the bottom left screen it looks like it would be a really good place to split. It is not. Um, chances are your image recognition algorithm will completely miss this. And because of the predominance of the black pixels, if you lower the confidence, like I have the confidence threshold at 0.5, if you lower the confidence threshold, you're more likely to get a false positive. And it will split early or it will split late. Um, so I just, I just advise to find something else. I personally am going to be looking for something else. So I would not... I mean, just use, use this as an example of what's probably not a good idea to split on. All right, so now um, I'm going to go and show you a quick montage of, of Naomi working in all of these split locations, kind of to show, like, how effective she's been at auto-splitting. Naomi, start the timer. Starting timer in three, two, one, go. Arrived at stasis. First try, please. Okay, thanks. Uh. Can't believe, like, this unskippable part of the cutscene takes like 20 seconds. Survey says. Stasis complete. Not bad. Oh, thank heavens. I raise my hands up because if I touch the Joy-Cons, I will just fall off, Arrived and I can't have that. That was freaking close. Still a time loss. Last time we had snow. That's tough. Cryonis complete. Two years ago, maybe? Arrived at Magnesis. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play it safe. And reset my skew right there. Yes, I got a Philo fax. Magnesis complete. Thank you for the fax, Philo. <laughs> yep. 
Arrived at bombs. Been trolled here before. Hoping that's not the case now. Thank you. Hopefully I didn't lose any time, but there were a couple of parts that were a little questionable. Bombs complete. I'll take that. I will take that any day of the week. It'll play like a five second cutscene that you can't skip. So shooting the Guardian enters you into battle mode and pretty much negates the cutscene. Cutscene won't play. Okay, now for the run killer. There's never a box here that's loaded. Load box. Come on. <sighs> Loading is difficult for a game. <laughs> it's ironic that my splits now happen after the cutscene because the map doesn't turn to the dungeon map until the cutscene's over. Castle reached. And that's what Naomi's looking for. Castle Comlet. Holy freaking crap. Thank you Adder for the good luck. Crap. I wasn't getting double hits. ATB pack, thank you for the follow. I appreciate the support, dude. Always appreciate the support. Lights defeated. Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Oh my gosh! Holy freaking cow! <sighs> Naomi? You suck, Naomi! I also wanted to make mention that I do not auto start with auto splits because I believe it is impossible to accurately auto start Breath of the Wild any percent. You do gain control of Link before an image appears on the screen. So if you auto split on an image appearing on the screen, any image appearing on the screen, it's not black, you will be late to start and you will basically be cheating about a quarter to a half second and then if you auto split start on a black screen so before uh, you see anything the black screen occurs approximately a second before you gain control of link so then you'll be losing a second and punishing yourself by one second so there is no good way to auto start I would highly advise you to manually start um, I personally use negative time in which I timed manually I timed manually starting about 10 times all of them were within uh, three tenths of a second took the average of all of those attempts with manual starting because you know those three tenths can be um, explained away by um, human reaction time so I took the average placing me right smack dab in the middle uh, and then I use that as negative time because it's consistent for me um, and then if verifiers decide that you know my negative time is not accurate they can always retime it but given that I've done tests it's always been accurate however auto auto timing is you intentionally or auto auto starting is you intentionally deciding that you're going to take either this punishment or this advantage in order to get it, and I, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, but that's my opinion. You know, you do what you want. I'm not going to judge you for it. Um, and then finally, auto finishing. Auto finishing would be a good idea if you can find a good time to split to finish. Uh, however, because image recognition is not 100% perfect, there is, depending upon where you split, there's still a chance for a false negative and false positive. And I personally do not like the idea of being on PB pace 
and then auto splitting my finish and having my auto splitter mess up in some way. And so I get a PB, but it's not reflected in my splits, and I either have to manually fix it, manually rewatch and retime it, or worst case scenario, I get a false positive before I finish. And then I'm in the middle of trying to finish a PB run and I'm messing with my splits and I mess up and I kill myself. Like I I don't want to deal with that. It's very, very simple for me just to press the space bar when the arrow hits Beast Cannon's eye. Uh, so, I mean, I, I believe it's personal preference. If you want to take that chance, that's up to you. Uh, I, I don't. So um, I just wanted to put that out there as a suggestion, uh, take it or leave it. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic 2019.